Hey guys, and welcome back to Turok. When we last left off, we were trying to escape. And we found this mighty beast. Are we? You sure? Come on, let's go. I'm staying. I have to stop King. I can't let him get away. We have to go, guys, now. Go get him. Well, hopefully those guys actually, you know, survive. Uh, I guess we are going to have a showdown with Kane after all. All these weapons. Might as well hoover up what we can. So, just us left. Oh, hey guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. No backup. No backup. Jeez. Okay. Cool. We're fine. Everybody be cool. Ah, bollocks. Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. <laughs> wow. Talk about absolutely shredded. Okay. Ah. You know, actually, you don't really miss your companions until they're no longer there. And then you really do feel like you're on your own. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let this baby cool down. Although... Mr. Flamethrower McGee. Did I get him? Mr. Firestarter? Yeah, he's gone. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Why does his gun hurt so much? What the fuck was that? Try that again. <laughs> well, that definitely hurts somebody. Alright, let's try that again. Uh, we've got shotguns. You know, there doesn't seem to be that many weapons in this game. It doesn't feel like there's a lot. There is, but it just doesn't feel like there's a lot of weapons. I think those pulse grenades don't bounce around. Yeah, I don't think they bounce around like the other grenades do. No, they don't. So they're pretty good at knocking people over. Which ain't bad. Uh, oh, hey, friend. That was a terrible shot. <laughs> I like that. He's looking behind him. You stupid bastard. You're going to pay the price. Now, where the hell is Kane hiding? Got this bloody idiot on the minigun. That's not going to really help us too much. Wow, there's two guys on a minigun. Really? Really? Now my only concern here, oh god, my only concern really is are these guys unlimited? Right, one down. Who's next? Hello, son. See you in the corner by yourself there on your very own minigun. Oh, Jesus. I think we just got him. Whoa, grenade. Ow. Ah, fuck. Damn, that hurt. Eh. Take more than that to polish off Mr. T. Oh, God. Hello. Him on the other hand. Oh, God. I thought he was going to have a good chance of polishing us off. Not so. Get out of here. Where's Kane hiding? With that sniveling little turd. Apparently, we'll never be that good. Good enough to take him down. We'll see about that. Alright, give me some pulse rifle ammo. Lovely. So we are going through that. Oh, God. We've only got nine rounds for this. Uh, yeah, that's not actually that brilliant, to be honest. Well, I mean, I guess we'll take some shotgun, I suppose. Just because. And there's a minigun right there. There's a minigun right there, isn't there? With 250 rounds. God damn it. Let's go grab the others. Yeah. How much ammo did mine have left in it? Whoa. Quite a bloody lot, apparently. 
Right, now we're armed. And dangerous. Let's have a little poke around. Doesn't look like there's unlimited enemies here, which is nice. Oh. I was going to say, I can hear guys. I can hear guys marching forwards. Right, pop one of them. That'll do, that'll do. Although we have just taken a nasty bit of damage. Jesus. Oh, fuck. That'll work. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pop. It's like popping smoke before you reload. Pop one of those grenades. Magic will happen. Okay. And I ain't talking about being struck by Cupid's arrow. It's like the kind of magic where you're struck by the devil's asshole. Knocks you around a bit. Ooh, destroy Kane's ship. Um. Okay. Not sure where those missiles came from. <laughs> well, um, we're dead. As luck would have it, <laughs> there is a rocket launcher aimed right at Kane's ship. Pretty sure. Uh, his space fighter. Okay. Um, that didn't look good. You should have left when you had the chance. I couldn't. Not without saying goodbye first. Oh, that's sweet. But neither of us is going anywhere now. It's over, Turok. But you still need to answer for what you did. What I did was pull you out of the gutter and allow you to realize your full potential. I taught you about your heritage. You don't know anything about my heritage. If you did, you wouldn't have ordered me to kill innocent civilians. That's not the way of my people. I had orders and I followed them. That's the way of my people. We respect the chain of command, but you, you let emotion cloud your judgment. That's why you can never be a true soldier. Oh, you're right, Kane. I'm not a soldier. A soldier follows orders, but a warrior follows his heart. Oh, I like it. What's your heart telling you now, Turok? Run, hide. What? No knife? Oh god, um, I guess we don't need a knife. Oh god. Well, we just have to outmuscle this guy instead. Mash all the buttons. Mash every button. Now we have a knife. Oh god. Damn it! <laughs> I don't know if I'm actually winning these or not. Oh, come on! Mash those! Ooh, nice! That was actually very satisfying. Look at Turok's jaw. Oh. Good. Good. Um. Right. We have a bow and a knife. I don't think the T-Rex is going to appreciate that, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> um, what? 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 What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do with a bow and a knife? Maybe the knife is the key. I'm going to slit it from fucking gizzard to asshole. I don't know. Yeah, uh, Tarok, let's let's move, buddy. Okay. Ooh, we've got we've got this here. Um, does that hurt it? Yeah, I guess that hurts it a little bit. Thing is, we want to hurt it more than a little bit. Okay, so it can't. Yeah, it can. 
Can it eat us here? No, but it can knock us around. Yeah, okay. So it can actually get us in the corner there. Bugger. Uh, yeah, we can't pin that. I don't think we can pin that. Right, let's charge to the corner here. There are RPGs, but we don't have an RPG, which is an issue. Uh, at least I'm guessing that's an issue. Now, can we actually run faster than, 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 than this thing? We both know the answer to that. Uh, nope, we've picked up some grenades. I mean, that's a thing that we now have. We can tickle its feet with grenades. Not sure it's going to be too bothered about that much, though. Right, you. Ooh. That hurts it. Maybe. Is it going to... No, it's not even going to let me stand up now. Thanks. So it can stun lock you as well, which is a little bit silly. I don't see the point in it stun locking you. It might as well just kill you outright. At least we can skip the silly cutscene that we get each time. Uh, so, we're going to run to this, hit it with a rocket, because that seems to do something. That makes it, like, stumble over. Even running with a knife, which video games have taught me makes us run faster, doesn't do much. There's another rocket here that we can hit it with. But I'm guessing it's... Yeah, it's right on my butt. Okay. No. I, okay, I'm not convinced the rocket does anything to it. Um. Yeah, this is... This is fair. It's lost. Right. I... Uh, hmm. Kill the T-Rex. I mean, I'm guessing the only thing we can kill the T-Rex with is rockets. And, you know, we can kill ourselves with a rocket as well. So, uh, <laughs> you know. Um, so we can get two rockets off before it, like, wigs out on us. Got ya. Still don't know where there's the rocket launcher is, even though... Come on, get on it, you dickhead. Right. So, I mean, that does stun it. But it doesn't, like, stun it much. Uh, there's some stuff over here, which is cool. Uh, there's another rocket launcher. There's big piles of grenades everywhere and stuff. But I don't really get on the rocket, you knob. Ooh, okay. That was bad. Um, what's over here? What's, can you please not, like, eat my ass? So you can't actually run faster than the T-Rex. So when it's on you, you can't get away from it. Cool game. That's fair. Uh, oh, we actually have tech arrows. Which is interesting. Right. Tech arrows make it stumble. Got ya. Yeah, they make it stumble. Which is nice. And I guess we're now in the lava, which is not nice. How many... Right, so we've just hit it with every tech arrow we had. Now let's see if we can hit it with this bad boy. It's literally in our face, which is going to kill us. Hmm. Okay, there has to be something to this. There has to be something to this. Yeah, all that does is make us stumble about a bit. Which doesn't really help us. Although I guess that does give us an opportunity to run. Ok. 
Okay. What is this doing? Doesn't, that's the trouble, it doesn't do anything. Not really. Can we get on the turret, please? Okay. Now we're fucked, though. Yeah, now we're screwed, because we can't actually get away from it. Okay, cool. We've got some grenades, which don't do anything. We're in the lava, which we definitely don't want to be. Yeah, grenades don't do anything. It can walk through the lava like it's nothing. Uh, hey dude. I wish it was easier to get on gun turrets. Like, it would be better if you didn't have to be looking at the gun turret on the right pixel. Um, okay. I'm guessing we just have to hit it enough times. I'm guessing that's all there is to it. But, yeah, you have to be so close to the actual thing. Missed. Right, so that does actually push it back. Which is interesting. Missed. Okay, yeah, and then it just stun locks you in the corner. Okay. I don't know. I think you've just got to get lucky here. Why are you using that? Why does it take so long to switch weapons? Right, rockets. See, we can kind of push it back with this. Which is cool. Great. <laughs> okay, great. I don't know, guys. I, uh, I'm i going to run around a little bit off camera, I think. And see what I can find. Because there's got to be something around here that can actually do this guy and there's got to be like a rocket launcher somewhere or something maybe these big explosive barrels actually do more damage to it than you think right we can knock it off course a little bit i think yeah kind of right we need tech arrows that's what we need uh yeah, we don't have tech arrows here, unfortunately, apparently. Right. Can you fuck off, please? Please? Nope. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I can throw grenades at you, but I know they're not going to do a lot. Nope, the grenades do nothing. And uh, Shit. Oh, okay, I mean, that's semi-useful, I guess. Yep, that's not bad at keeping it at bay, actually. Oh, good, we're in the lava. Oh, good, we're in the lava again. Yeah, we know the objective is to kill the T-Rex. The problem dear game is killing the T-Rex the T-Rex doesn't like to be killed can you understand the difficulty that we're in uh, anybody else got any ammo or any other good ideas because I'm kind of interested in what <laughs> what else there is right what's over here this is looks like some kind of weapons cache no, that's a nothing cash. Cool. Thanks, game. Love you too. That's grenades, which are useless. Yep. Absolutely useless. 
Um. Oh God. Right. Why does it give us grenades? It don't do anything. Unless I guess to. I guess we could use the grenades to blow up like the big barrels and things, but. Oh. Right. Uh, can you pick the weapon up? Thank you. Oh, great. That's cool. <laughs> to throw us off the edge. Why not? Uh, I'm guessing we can't kill it with what we have. Yeah, I'm guessing we need... Something else. Something bigger. Fuck off. Yep, now he's going to be right in our face. It's also worth noting... ...that... These barrels don't seem to do as much damage as I was hoping to him. Right, cool. We got this now. Which is fine. There's like no indicator that we're doing much to him. Like, is that actually doing much damage? Or are we just kind of hoping for the best here? Oh, great. And the lava. How would you look at him and not walk into the lava? Ugh. So I'm guessing... There has to be an RPG around here somewhere. There has to be. Thanks, T-Rex. Just knocked me into the lava. That's, that's cool. <sighs> right. <laughs> I'm going to uh, stop talking and try and run around. Might skip some of this footage out. I don't know yet. Oh, I really wish... What's here? A shotgun. Okay. Right, what's the point in the shotgun? Okay, the sh it does actually back him off, to be fair. Once you've hit him about 7,000 times. So there is that. But you do have to kind of hit the shit out of... Nope. Okay, maybe not. Nope. Shotgun does nothing. Okay, so this seems to be somewhat effective. Stick to the stick to the crates, I guess. Get fucked, you bitch. I mean, I wouldn't say it's super effective. Well, I don't know, it's working. 
It's better that it's working. Better than the alternative we had, which was, well, no actual alternative. Cool. So, uh, this crate is now out of ammo. So we now need to find another crate. Which would be there, I guess. Right. You can stagger, bitch. Now, give me some goodies. Give me some goodies. Give me some goodies. Okay. Okay. We'll roll with it. That'll work. Oh. Oh, we know this. We know this. Okay. Oh. Grenade in the head. Oof. She's done. She's done, son. She's done. <sighs> okay, that wasn't actually that bad. And I thought these boys would come back to pick us up. <laughs> oh, I guess the big guy does care after all. Better make yourselves comfortable. It's a long ride back to her. Saving. I'm not sure. Look at all these, like, actual big-name people, though. Bloody hell. Well, it might not have been the Turok that we wanted. But it was actually a bloody good game. And I, for one, really enjoyed that. I may or may not play it again uh, on a harder difficulty. Haven't decided, but... I enjoyed it. I probably will go for the uh, extra achievements that I have left over. Uh, just as something to fire up for a few minutes. I might find a cheesy way of doing it and, and do it that way. Um, does this game hold up as a average to good shooter from 2008? Yes, I think so. It's still fun. It's unique enough to be worth a playthrough as well with all the dinosaurs and whatnot. It's it's a little bit linear, though. I do wish that maybe we could have had some bigger open levels instead of the uh, kind of like tight linear action that we got. But, you know, for what they tried to go for, it works. Tesco, uh, Tesco's. Why did I say Tesco's? Probably because I've got to go Tesco's in a minute. Um... Turok 1 and 2 at least and I guess the others as well uh, not sure about Turok Evolution that's a bit of a bit of a bit of a turd of the franchise if you ask me but um, Turok 1 and 2 especially had huge sprawling levels uh, like they were actually ridiculous and going back to them now is a little bit silly because Turok 1 and 2, as much as they're good games, and they have been remastered as well, uh, fairly recently. The problem with them is the levels are just so big, man. They take some serious going through. And for an LP as well, uh, there's very few checkpoints and whatnot. And lots of uh, respawning enemies is a thing as well. I, I'm, I probably do them at some point, but at the moment I've got so many... Uh, other games on the actual back burner. They're also very cryptic maze-like levels, so you really need to know what you're doing and where you're going. Uh, I remember we played Turok 2 so much when I was younger. Um, that was like our game, and Turok, me and Rich anyway, we played them to death, Turok 1 and 2. More Turok 2 than anything else, because I remember every time Rich used to come over mine for the weekend. We'd rent that delicious black cartridge. 
And we'd have a damn good time. But this, this was kind of the start of an interesting new offshoot for Turok. And the well, it ended in, uh, as quick as it started, unfortunately. Um, hopefully, they will bring Turok back. I don't know. It's nice to see the remasters. I don't know how well the remasters have sold. Uh, they're literally available on everything, and they're not that expensive. But they're very, very dated, and they've aged. So, hmm, possibly in the future. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.